name is Jenna and welcome to a special edition of eSpot. Today we will go over the big announcements of Bethesda's E3 conference. To kick off Bethesda's E3, Fallout 76 has some lovely new additions. There will be human NPCs that will be added more life to the game as well as rededicated story with the Western Wastelanders expansion. As mentioned, with the human NPCs, in the new expansion there will also be dialogue trees to add more in-depth content to Fallout. There will also be new Battle Royale mode called Nuclear Winter. Nuclear Winter will be free and will be up to 52 players. As this neat bonus, it will include nukes. Updates for great games continue as Rage 2 will also be seeing some updates throughout this year. There will be new vehicles, enemies to crush, cheats to use, and skins for your character. That's not all, there will be a new expansion called Rise of Ghosts. This will add a brand new area to the mini campaign, but it doesn't stop there. Rage 2 will be continuing to see new content even after this new DLC drops. Other games that have had additions will be the Elder Scrolls series. Elder Scrolls Blades will be available for the Nintendo Switch this fall. It is already available for mobile currently. Elder Scrolls Legends the card-focused battle game will see a new update June 27th. Lastly, Elder Scrolls Online will get a new DLC known as Dragonhold, also in the fall of 2019, which will add dragons and lead to new dungeon content. We all love classics, and one of them is being revived very soon. Zenimax Studios is working on a new project focused on bringing back the classic Commander Keen IP. It will be a free-to-play mobile game that will bring back old characters as well as introduce new ones such as playable twin geniuses that lose clever gadgets. Do you love horror games? Well, Shinji Mikami, who created Resident Evil and Evil Within series, announced a new title called Ghost Rider Tokyo. This game is in development from Tango Gameworks and is their first new IP since Evil Within. So far, we know it's a world where people are mysteriously disappearing and monsters and mythological creatures have resurfaced. Arcane Studios, the developer of Dishonor and Prey, revealed their next game called Deathloop. In this seemingly inescapable loop, you have a choice between two playable characters where you have to utilize your particular skill set and weapons to take down strange enemies in a very strange land. Many of us here at DBSI Entertainment are very excited for this game, both because of the diversity as well as the intriguing and unique introduction at E3. While we're on the topic of Arcane Studios, they also happen to be assisting Machine Games with the next Wolfenstein title of Young Blood. This will be a co-op focused game featuring the daughters of BJ Blazkowicz. In this game, you will have a wide variety of ways to take down Nazis during an alternative 1980s time period. Set for release on July 26th, it looks so far to be on track to be the most intense and fun game of the series. Another exciting announcement was there is a new streaming software by the name of Orion, developed by id Software. This will allow players to stream the latest Bethesda games to modest software such as mobile phone and be able to handle 60 frames per second. To wrap up Bethesda's E3 2019 conference, id Software showcased footage of Doom Eternal and included the release date set for November 22nd of this year. During E3, there was footage of a new multiplayer mode called Battle Mode. This multiplayer will consist of two player controlled demons and one player assuming the role of the Doom Slayer. Doom Eternal will be released on PC, PS4, Xbox One, the Switch, and Stadia. There was also a collector's edition announced, which includes a life-size helmet. In conclusion, this year is looking fantastic for Bethesda. From new add-ons for existing games to fresh ideas with a wide variety, we here at DBSI are excited for the unfolding of these games and how the story will be told. We thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button, and as always, stay devious.